Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share with you some of my favourite flamingo bags, uh, and which mostly form what I would call my higher end of my bag collection. Um, bar this one, all of this is pre-loved. The only leather bag that isn't here is a Zatchel uh, flamingo covered satchel because my wardrobe is currently sealed up and... Um, because of decorating i wanted to share with you some of my favorite bags in my collection a lot of these you would have already seen in previous videos uh but i just wanted to share with you what i've um accumulated over the last couple of years here we've got all of my kate spade small leather goods this is mini wallet passport holder coin purse cosmetics bag all very cute that I also like can double as a clutch bag this is another clutch bag this one bit of an odd one um, slides open so like you could put your phone in there you can have it as a clutch um, if you open it up on the inside it's got two compartments it's got coin slots and it's this really beautiful flamingo print with writing that looks like handwriting this was a gift um, it comes with a gold chain, but I don't know, it was a bit awkward as a chain, so I carry it as a pouch, or I pop it into bags as a pouch. Um, I'm going to start with a bag I haven't shown previously. This here is my Lulu Guinness bag. This is from the early noughties. I bought this off eBay last year, and it's this beautiful flamingo print, and it's paint and leather, and almost like a hessian style um fabric sorry for the background noise that's just my husband making some bits and pieces inside it's plain you can tell this is from the noughties because inside it has this massive mobile phone flap that was de rigger in all bags back in the day this i bought off as i said off ebay it was 30 pounds including the postage um it still had the wrappings on the tabs of the handbag so it's got the classic if you look inside lulu guinness like mirror lg these still had the paper on them the person had had it and basically had never worn it i've worn it once or twice i'm quite conscious of the handles because i've had this kind of style of bag before and this bit gets really manky if you're not careful so i do love this bag it is a summer bag it needs waterproofing but I, it carries quite a lot it's a good size it's a good shape it's very cute i like lulu guinness because she does like the iconic lips and stuff like that but i must admit i bought this purely because it has flamingos and i really like the style it's got paint and leather base with little silver feet next up is my sophia webster bag i've already done like a whole video on this one it is black leather with paint and leather trim uh, with rose gold hardware very soft leather bag this is the most recent acquisition of all of them this one was bought i think in january and i've worn this quite a lot it is a beautiful bag and as previously shown my favorite thing is the fact that it has the flamboyance definition inside which gives it a bit of tongue-in-cheek and makes it fun and i really like the way the little flamingos are joined together and it looks like a little heart and my most used bag out of the collection is this Kate Spade bag. This style of bag is called the Philippa. Uh, the collection is by the pool. As you can see, it is a bucket bag. This is the smooth calfskin leather. And I have recently added this very cute... Um, flamingo twilly to it because unfortunately with traveling and stuff in standard course of a day um when i'm not working from home and given the current circumstances i don't know how long i will won't be not working from home but i i tend to use a lot of hand cream and hand sanitizer and stuff from being on public transport so when i'm carrying this i'm absolutely terrified i was going to absolutely wreck the handle on this so because it's made of the same smooth leather because the difference with the small leather goods is although it's a similar leather it has a different finish so it's hardier and easier to clean than the smooth leather 
but these have the um, pink feet. I bought this last July. Uh, this was second hand to me from someone else. Um, I've recently managed to smooth down all of the paper fringing on the flamingos, but honestly, this is like one of my favourite bags. Um, the other bag I have is a cream coloured satchel that has flamingos on it in this kind of um, pattern. Um, it's a small, smallish satchel, second hand from satchels, uh, bought via eBay last year. Um, as widely documented here, I just love flamingo handbags, but I thought I'd share with you some of my favourite pieces. Um, and things that are versatile as well. I, I want to talk about like the versatility and why I think small leather goods are a fantastic idea. Originally... I wanted this bag when the person I bought it from bought it, but they weren't willing to part with it and I couldn't find it for a reasonable price. Um, so I ended up buying this thinking, oh, that's quite cool. I can use it day to day. I can use it day to day. Um, it would be a cute clutch bag. I can put it in any of my bags and I can put all my stuff in it. It's a really lovely little cosmetics bag that has a fantastic interior. It's got this kind of plastic style white clean silver fabric. This was brand new off of eBay. Um, I tend to like these kinds of things where you can put your phone and your keys and all your bits in one bit. And if, you, if you're anything like I am, I swap my bags out two, three, four times a week quite happily because I like changing what I'm wearing a lot because... I have a lot of bags, to be fair, and I like to get the wear out of all of them. So it's kind of useful being if I'm using larger bags to have something that's got everything in it and I can swap it all out. Usually I carry a nude leather Yoshi um, card holder. But I really like... I must admit I don't own anything else from Kate Spade except these, but what I really like about Kate Spade are the thoughtful little details, like the fact the flamingos have gemstones in their eyes, the fact that the small leather goods, because they're going to get more of a battering, are in a different finish, and, you know, I like this because what's really cool is, say you're out about and you've got your belt on, something like this is really good. You can put, like, a lip balm, some loose change but you can slide your belt through the back of it, which I admit I have done. Looks quite cool. Or if you wanted to, like, you could put a little strap through it. I must admit, I bought that to complete the set because I really liked it. Um, I got this off of Depop. This one's the only one that had been purchased and wasn't brand new without tax. This one had been used. But to be fair, the only sign of wear is on the ends of the flamingo's beaks. Otherwise, this is actually in fantastic condition. This is a really great little mini wallet. That again, loads of card slots, coin slot. You can put your ID in there. I really like that. Uh, this this was a, an indulgence. I must admit. Um, I have always had my passports in a passport holder. Previously, I had a pale pink one that was purchased in 2007. Um, it was in 2007, and I must admit, after 10 years plus of having had the same passport holder, it had fallen apart, so I needed a new one anyway. And I thought, I could go buy another leather one, but why not buy one that I really, really like? I did look at the personalised ones, but then I spot I spotted this and I thought, why not? And I mean, considering the last one I had, I paid, I think, all of like £10 for and I'd had it for the better part of over 11 years. It made sense to invest in one that I will have for equally long, if not longer. And yeah, so that is something I would highly recommend. So anyway, I'm going to go because the light is going because the weather here is terrible. But I thought I'd share with you some of my favourite leather pieces. This one, again, I have used, I, as I was saying about having a pouch with inside my bags. That is something I would tend to use like if I was swapping out from bag to bag for the size. Or if you've got a larger bag like a tote that's quite slouchy and doesn't close. Something like this is quite good because it means all of your stuff's in one place. You can just grab it straight away if you need to. 
So I would highly recommend something along those lines. Thank you and have a good day.